Welcome back to another episode of the Cyber Monday Let's Hack. Last time, as you may recall, we were able to hack into this admin dashboard, or rather, we were able to create an admin user or added our user to be an admin. And in here, we can upload files, which is pretty interesting seeing as we have a PHP application. So maybe we can just uh, upload like a PHP reverse shell and we upload whatever we want. Okay, nothing is happening. Let's take a quick look at the debugger, see what happening. Okay, nothing apparently. Weird, we don't have anything in here. Uh, maybe let's disable the proxy and just cancel and refresh this whole thing. Now let's just take like this file and maybe write something test one test product price is zero create product image must be an image okay now this makes matters a bit more interesting because we cannot just upload whatever we like but what i forgot to open was the most important aspect of this challenge which is this one i just mean the code now there seems to be a console app which you can register the comments for the application. So I'm not sure if we should do that somewhere. And um, also I have no idea where we can find this, but there seems to be a roots console. So if we have the web dashboard, etc., where does the console lead us? Hmm. All right. Okay. We we've gathered some overview back. We know where we are in here. We can, I think do we have some pictures. We have this test JPEG which didn't upload, create the product. Entity too large. All right, perfect. Okay, so we have a max file size of two max. And the first question I'm asking myself is, first of all, PHP reverse shell as an image. Reverse shell via JPEG. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. We can rename our shell and upload it as shell PHP. Okay, that's uh, pretty simple. Okay, let's try this one first. This one seems promising. And... Then let's just save this as php.gif, I think. So let's try this this approach because why not? Every Monday, and let's go in here and let's open up a image shell one.php.jpg. Because why not? Let's paste this in here, save it, and now we should be able to upload that thing, right? HTB Cyber Monday image shell as on shell one shell and it's completely free and it worked so now where can we find this beautiful image maybe let's go in http slash slash cyber monday and let's go to products and now we have our shell one view can we open image in new tab now the question is how do we trigger the shell mm, that doesn't work out I don't think the image way is the way we have to go, right? How how can we add a shell to this entire thing? That's the question we have to answer. And then we're basically on the server. We we will just explore this site. So we do what every time what you do every time you hack something, we explore what's happening. So products is where we create the product. We have tips over you, which I have the feeling that's just fake data, but uh, it looks nice. I, I need to know which library this is so I can use it with all this fancy stuff. I, I really like the, the 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 graphs. What I don't like is that there is some empty space here, but you can see it because my face is there. Then we have back to home page, which just leads us back to home. Who would have thought that? And we have the change log, the last one. And maybe we can find some interesting things in here. Takes at SQLi in login page, unreleased. Wait, is this unreleased? We have a webhook beta for create registration logs. This format is based on keep a change log and this project adheres to semantic versioning. Keep a change log. Don't let your friend dump git logs into change logs. Hey, I'm not saying I'm doing it. All right, it looks like it's just some kind of standard to do that. So not really interesting semantic versioning. I'm familiar with that. Whoa, we have semantic versioning version two. Nice. Since when is that one out? All right, but um, we have a webhook, which means we have to add this to our, what's it called? Host files so we can access it actually. I'm assuming it's on the same server. So let's just, no, not the expert database. That's for a later time. And uh, let's just see what this hook 
triggers. It says for create registration logs. Okay, do we get something? Did the network return something? 404. Fantastic. Do we have anything here? We have the API that we found in the code the last time. Um, I'm sorry you can't read it. I have no idea how to increase the size of this thing in... Oh, okay. It worked out exactly as I was thinking it would work out. We have some off stuff. We have create name description action. Create log file. Oh, maybe we can create a malicious log file. But I'm not sure we have everything we need to find in here. So we are going to do the same thing we did last time, but this time we are doing it for this URL. All right, let's just pause everything. Oh, shit. Let's go in here and let's find it correctly this time. Go home and delete all this header information, which we won't be needing, hopefully. And then let's just take a look at what we will get back. I mean, we will, we're bound to get something back, right? Um, we found a couple of things, by the way. We have this JKS. Wait, is this the, Jap the JVT key store? You know what? Let's get this stuff. I was trying to download this, but for some reason it doesn't seem to work. Maybe I have a typo, but let's just paste it in here and see if this one works. Okay. All right. We get something. Let's take a look at here. So it looks like we have the private keys for generating JVTs, right? Are these the private keys or are these the public keys? Use, signing. I'm still confused as to whether this is what what this is. Maybe this is the public key. I'm not entirely sure. But we also had a nice and fancy what's it called? Dot ht access. Redirect writing slashes, if not a folder. Send request to front controller. Alright. I was hoping for something password related, like username. But let's keep this open in here. Maybe we'll need it. And then maybe we can use a tool like, what is it? Postman or do I have Postman installed? Because now we need to test this webhooks API. And um, well, we don't have to, but it's like the only thing I found that seems like useful because I'm not gonna work with the images just now. Maybe the API is the better path to go down. So we're hacking this API. We have Postman. No, of course we don't. I have an announcement to make, which first of all, all is um, this week's live stream. So this stream or video that you're watching today will be the last for this year because um, next Sunday is, is Christmas. The week after that is New Year's and I will be having my days off then. Also, um, after Christmas and up until New Year's Eve, I will be at the Chaos Computer Club convention in Germany. I also wouldn't want to do a live stream from there because I'm pretty sure if I start up connecting to YouTube and an anything like that, I will get hacked immediately. So luckily for me, I will not be using my primary phone, but instead this nice Fairphone 4, which Yode.tech sent me. And when you're watching the video, there will be an affiliate link to Yode. If you missed last week's episode or live streams, Yode is an the Google Android focused on privacy and security. So I'm really bringing their phone to the, uh, how do you say that, to the hardest test it I could give it, which is going to a hacker con with this phone in the hopes that I don't get hacked. Will it work? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I hope my nudes don't get leaked, but other than that, everything's fine. Make sure to check out the affiliate link in the description of the video for iode.tech. They have a free tier which you can join and just download their Android and flash it onto your system. And they also have pre flashed phones which you can buy. And also, since we're already doing all the ad segment, don't forget to check out the affiliate link to the Hack the Box um, VIP subscription so you can join in on these challenges or practice yourself. It's pretty nice you even have a VM that they give you for a couple of hours per month, which is more than enough. You can like fire up a couple of machines. You you basically have unlimited access to all the Hack the Box Labs platform, not so much Academy, but the Labs. And I mean, the Labs is what's, what's fun. The Academy is just there so you can learn to have fun. But after this long 
ad break that I forced you through. Let's just start checking out if Postman has installed. Let's see if we can get actually anything done with this one. Now we need to find out what the API was called again. Um, which, let's see, Mon Angular Monday, this one I think it was slash webhooks. Oh, fantastic. We have the our client now, so it seems to be working, but we're not authorized. Luckily for us, let's go back to the on the dashboard, to the change log and to the webhook thing. And this didn't work, but this I think did work because now maybe we can just register. So let's just register to this API. Is it just auth register? And then the body, I think we will do raw. All right. And then in here, I have to find the correct one. All right, perfect. Here we have the username, actor man, and then we have password. Let's just go with pass. And I'm assuming it's a post, and it seems like it's a post. So let's do the post. Boom. Now we registered. Now after after registering, right? We have to log in. So let's do an auth login with the same credentials. And here we have the access token. Let's copy that one. And now what we want to do is try this in the get webhooks. Webhooks. What does it say? Unauthorized. Maybe we can just paste this in here and send it. Doesn't seem like it, right? Maybe it's not params, so let's remove them, but rather headers. I mean, X is usually the sign for a header, like a special custom made header. All right. It seems that we got something. So at least we can access the API. Now, can we create our own webhooks or is this webhook to create a, a what's it called? A new log file. I don't know. Let's just go with create. Then, oh, isn't Create this post again. Of course, it's post. What was I thinking? Unauthorized, but I am authorized. Or maybe I am not Let's get this and go to jvt.io. Um, by the way, I know that this is a JVT because it starts with an A. So you know, um, most JVT start with an This is basically the curly bracket. So let's post our thing that starts with A. And we can see that we are Hackman with the role of user. Did I pick the right one? Yes, I hope so. Mm. Maybe I'm just thinking out loud, but maybe we can use this together with like the key files that we got before to, to create our custom, our custom token and then enter into it. Right? Maybe, yeah. I mean, why not? I'm not yet sure we can use this if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, in here we had this weird uh, JVKS, JSON, which has the keys. Since we have these keys here, maybe we can use them to create our own JVTs, which is what we will be doing in the next video. See you there. Bye-bye.